This video will explain how to create a literature review. In a literature review, you will write about the existing research related to your topic. In this case, the word literature means academic resources such as peer-reviewed journal articles. A literature review can be part of a research paper or project, or it can be an assignment by itself. If it's part of a larger research assignment, the literature review typically comes after the introduction and before you start discussing your own research ideas. By searching for and reading the research that has already been published about your topic, you will get to know that topic very well and build your expertise in that specific area. Usually the goal of a research project is to investigate a new area that has not previously been studied. Searching the literature helps you understand what has already been written about your topic and areas where more research is needed. This can help you figure out the focus of your own research or your own research proposal. For example, is there a gap in the literature where there are unanswered questions or unexplored areas? Are there conflicting findings in the existing literature? By showing what research has already been done, you can explain why it's important to research your specific topic. Your own research ideas could be building on previous research, trying a different approach than previous research, or exploring a different area than what has already been researched on that topic. The literature review is also helpful for the reader of your work because it provides them with background information on the topic. By summarizing and analyzing previous studies, relevant theories, and methodologies, you will highlight the most important research on your topic, bringing the reader up to speed with previous developments and major concepts. It also explains a need for further research, which could lead you to discussing your own research ideas. Let's talk about the step-by-step -step process of creating a literature review. To get started, brainstorm relevant keywords and search terms for your topic to find sources such as peer-reviewed journal articles, edited academic books, government documents, statistics, and other relevant information by using library databases, the library catalog, and credible online resources. Search different databases in academic journals depending on your research area. Talk to a librarian for assistance with this process and use the research guides on the library website to get started. Throughout the searching process, you will identify relevant titles of sources, then start by reading the abstracts before you read the sources in full. Analyze these summaries to decide if they are actually useful for your topic before you start reading. When you start reading sources, take notes in your own words. Think about the major concepts of a source, anything you think is important or interesting, any limitations or gaps that you notice in the research, and any contradicting information you find between different sources. Take note of the terminology you're seeing. Are there specific terms that are used in the research? Have these evolved over time? Look for different theories and methodologies that have been used in relation to your topic. Be aware of who is writing about your topic. Are there certain authors who have published a lot of research or who are leaders in the field? When you're reading, look at the in-text citations to see the source of the information being discussed. The in-text citations correspond to full citations at the end of the paper, which provide the publication information. If you find a helpful resource for your topic, you can look at the sources cited in that resource to see where the authors got their information. When you are taking notes, make an outline to plan how you will organize the information. There are a few different ways to do this. You can look for common themes and patterns across the topic you are researching, including similarities in concepts, theories, or studies. You could organize the information chronologically and discuss major questions that have been addressed by researchers over the years, showing the historical development of the field. Depending on your topic, it might make sense to organize your information by geography or organize it by other connections you are seeing in the research. In your outline, you can also identify gaps in the research or areas that require further research to help you determine what you might like to research yourself. It's important to note that a literature review does not summarize each source one at a time. That would be considered an annotated bibliography where there is a separate paragraph for each source. In your notes and outline, keep track of where all your information is coming from and list when you are going to talk about each source. You will learn a lot about your topic when you're reading and taking notes for your literature review. You might notice a specific area that you want to explore further. You might see certain terminology used in the sources that is different from the words that you initially searched. You might also notice that there are particular authors or specific articles that are important to your topic. The process of writing a literature review involves going back and forth between searching, reading, taking notes, and then going back to searching again once you have learned more from reading the research. When writing the literature review, work your way through the outline to compare, contrast, and connect the different pieces of research. Aim to capture the trends in the literature and inform the reader about the current state of research in this area. 
The writing process should include synthesizing the research and adding your own interpretations, rather than just providing a summary of each source. This means making connections between the sources to highlight the importance of your research area. One tip to help you make sure you are synthesizing and analyzing the information is to cite multiple sources in each paragraph, showing relationships between them. In addition to in-text citations, which should appear throughout the literature review each time you refer to a source, full citations should also be listed at the end of the paper. This was an overview of how to create a literature review. Please don't hesitate to contact us for additional assistance.